This is chapter 5 loops, programming exercise 12. Find the smallest n such that n squared is greater than 12,000. Use a while loop to find the smallest integer n such that n squared is greater than 12,000. So we want to find the smallest possible number that when we square it is just right above 12,000. And if you minus 1 from this n and you square it, then it will be less than 12,000. So that's exactly what we want. So it's pretty simple. No need for me to create another slide. We could just do it all right here. So we're going to create an int number and let that, let that be uh, default at one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a do while loop. So while let's say uh, math.power number squared is less than 12,000 keep running this while loop and we're just going to display something like this right here right and let's try to make it nice so we'll do a pipe slash t plus uh, the number right this is just a visual to show make it look all nice plus and here is where we do the actual work so math power, so the first number right here takes in two, uh, two double values or two integers, fine, right? The first one is going to be the number that you want to increase to whatever power. The second place right here is whatever power you want to uh, put. Since I'm squaring the number, I'm going to put two. If you want to cube the number, you could put three, so on and so forth, right? Okay, and then slash t pipe. Okay, and of course, if I do a check, I wanna check every time, to make sure that I'm incrementing the number. So if the current number is not, doesn't, is not feasible, it's not correct, it's not less than 12,000, right? Then increase it, right? And here we go. So we're gonna run that, and this is what we got. So it'll keep incrementing, so it doesn't, it's not exactly like, uh, look nice. So let's see n square pipe slash t. Let's try that again just for the visual. Okay, visual doesn't matter. What matters is the results. All right, so we have one square, which is one, two square, which is four, three square, which is nine, so on and so forth, all the way to 109 square, which is 11,881. Now we know that if we increase 109 just by one more, we'll hit past 12,000, which is exactly what we want, right? We want the number that is, find the smallest possible number that's just above 12,000. All right, so now that we have our number, we could simply say system.print line, uh, number plus squared is math dot power number squared and is the oops and is the smallest number that is greater than twelve thousand when squared. Okay, there we go. All right, so now incre increase 109 to 110. You square it, bam, we get 12,100, and that is the smallest number that's greater than 12,000 when squared. All right, and why do I have that zero plus n is blah, blah, blah. Smallest number, why do I have n squared math dot power 12,000 Oh, 12,000.0 because it's returning a, uh, a double value. So it's dot zero, not because I enter a string dot zero. All right, perfect. So 110 is our answer, right? But the programming to do that is just simply using a while loop, keep running it, keep squaring it, keep checking it. And once you reach your result, you could just increment it by one and you have your answer. All that in less than five minutes.